Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 50. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're driving towards the Monarch Hotel on Bunker Hill in Los Angeles. As I was exploring the wonderful Duke University site, I found a great photo of downtown Los Angeles. I was able to identify the location because of the Monarch Hotel, which used to be there on Bunker Hill. You're looking northwest on 5th Street towards Flower, and of course, Figueroa. If your eye is caught by the gigantic ad for ginger ale, then that makes sense. It must have cost the Canada Dry people a lot of money. And since the Duke site is dedicated to advertising, that's why the image is there. But I see so much more. Let's take a look. This is a Los Angeles that has been completely erased. Yes, 5th Street and Flower are still there, but other than the street names, or the GPS position, it might as well be an entirely different city. I'm going to place this in the 1930s based on the cars. The intersection directly ahead of us is Flower. Take a closer look on the right where the sign says Go on the traffic light and it's clearly visible. It kind of makes me wonder why that lady is out in the intersection. But my best guess is the traffic wasn't really that heavy, and besides, California drivers stopped for pedestrians. At least they did when I lived there in the 1980s. I can't say that I've ever had corned beef hash, but that little place there, the White Log Coffee Shop, looks interesting. I suppose I'd like the egg, toast, and jelly. 35 cents. Looks like a car wash was a dollar. And if you could get a whole meal for 35 cents, then, well, a dollar for a car wash sounds very expensive. By the way, note the electric trolleys. Those were called the big red cars. Looks like you just walked out and got on them. I don't see a station. And I'll admit, all I ever learned about the big red cars was from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? They did go away after World War II to be replaced with buses. I've read that many people do consider it a big conspiracy, but I'm inclined to think that they were just terribly old and uncomfortable, and since people weren't willing to pay more than a nickel to ride them, it became impossible to keep them up. The brand new buses must have been nice. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.